grab a cup of coffee and sit down with me because I'm going to recommend some amazing movies, books and podcasts and songs for you to binge on, to listen to, to watch, to read in the month of December or even later on. Hi guys, it's Heli and I'm the best friend you need because all of us deserve some really good friends who give you great recommendations and basically I, I am that person in case you are like a lonely person like me. Anyway, this month I have decided to start this video by paying a tribute to one of my favorite actors of all time, Shomitra Chatterjee. He recently passed away. That's why the first movie I'd recommend is one of my favorite movies of him. It was really hard to pick just one because almost every movie this man has acted in is amazing. But I picked out something that is pretty underrated and this one is called The Coward or in Bengali, Kapurush. This movie follows the life of a man who has lost the woman he loved. In a turn of events, he comes across the husband of his ex-lover and he takes her to their home and he finds her there and he's really wondering how she is. But the conversations they have, the flashbacks that there are in the movie really tell you nothing, honestly. But they also tell you something. I really love the ending of this movie, which about which I really want to discuss with you towards the end of this video. So let's put that on hold. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the first movie I'll recommend. It's a beautiful movie if you have ever loved or if you love the theme of romance and not being able to do the things you want, you're going to love this movie. The next movie that I will recommend is Ludo. Ludo is getting so popular and it deserves it. I don't like the ending that much though. However, I really loved the movie itself. It was such a great cast. It was such a well-made storyline. Rajkumar Rao, I, in my opinion, was the best amongst the batch. Although each and every one of these actors gave their best. I have to say this. Abhishek Bachchan is definitely a great actor but i feel like he has done more of the movies in which the characters he did he was not really suited for but there are certain movies where i really really liked abhishek bachchan and i would really love to see more of him in these kind of movies one of my favorites is antor mohol you guys should definitely watch it it is by rituparna ghosh and it is available on youtube as far as i remember uh, but even if it isn't, I'm pretty sure you'll get it with some kind of subscription online. So it is highly recommended. It will be worth it. Ritwar and Ghosh movies are so good. And this movie called Antho Mahal was beautiful. It really captures the essence of Bengal, the Zamindari system and the oppression of women in those times so well. And the essence of what it really means to be infidel. Now, we'll come back to this later at some point in today's video. But the next series I want to recommend now is Queen's Gambit. Once again, this one is also getting very, very popular. They have made chess so encapsulating inside these series. The thing that I really feel about Queen's Gambit though is that it got a bit too overhyped. There are certain loose ends inside this series and I don't think they'll be ever tied again. And there are certain things I was disappointed with. But the fact that they have made chess so you know, enchanting is magical. So I'd highly recommend this to you. Now, let's move on to the book recommendations I have for you this month. The first book that I'll recommend is A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Murder. This is a detective novel. It's about this enchanting lady who is traveling with her family. One of the members of her family is getting married. She had been married but she got widowed and now she is seeing some other man. The best thing about this book is the way the sentences are phrased. It's magical, humorous and the writer has done a great job in bringing this vintage detective novel to life. It is highly recommended. I'm reading this book on Storytel and if you want to read this as well, a link to a free trial of Storytel of 30 days would be right in the description below. So click the link in the description if you want to and it will give you a 30 day free trial after which if you want to keep continuing, it will be like 10 rupees per day. Now, the next book I'll recommend is a non-fiction book and this one is called Talk Like Ted. Basically, if you watch TED Talks, if you like people talking in a very magnetic manner and you want to know why and how they do that, you love this book. One thing that I've really seen about TED speakers is they, when they speak, you just listen. You can't get distracted. They speak so well. And if you want to learn the art of speaking well, you need to read Talk Like TED. And the last book I'll recommend is Lady Chatterley's Lover. This goes in the line of infidelity. So uh, while I was reading Talk Like Ted, I actually went on to TED Talks and I 
heard this TED talk on rethinking infidelity, what it really means to cheat on someone and being an infidel. And on first glance, of course, I was not liking it because I thought they will like say something like it's okay to cheat or something, but it was not like that. It was just a very different kind of perspective on cheating and infidelity. And since it reminded me of this amazing book, I'll recommend it to you. And this one is called Lady Chatterley's Lover. This is a classic. This is, of course, about Lady Chatterley who commits infidelity. And honestly, this book is written in a time where romance was the greatest thing in the world. So infidelity was the biggest tragedy. And that's why you will be able to enjoy this book pretty much. And yeah, with that, I come to an end of the book recommendations. I'm really sorry to inform you that I won't recommend a lot of courses in today's video. The only course I'll recommend is a course which is absolutely free. This is by Meera Kothand and I recommended it to my email list. By the way, I maintain an email list to which I send career and finance related tips basically in freelancing every two weeks. So every 15th and every 30th. So in case you want to sign up, the link to sign up will be in the description below. And yeah, basically that's where I recommended this course for the first time. And this is called blog to business, basically how you can make money with a blog and start your own business. This course is also going to be helpful in case you want to make a freelance career in writing based services. Now, now let's move on to the podcasts I will recommend. First podcast I will recommend is not overthinking it's by one of my favorite youtubers ali abdal and if you watch his videos you know how amazing he is in putting his thoughts into beautiful words and when i listen to not overthinking i really don't overthink i do get a lot of perspective in life which is why i love it so much the next podcast that I will recommend for you will be Social It. This is a great podcast for anyone who wants to learn about online marketing, social media marketing, and basically how to grow a business online. And the last podcast that I will recommend for you today will be Alux.com podcast. Alux is a beautiful YouTube channel. This is a channel you need to follow if you want to be a millionaire or something, but it really changes your mindset a lot. Alux also has a couple of courses they have made, by the way, and I'm really considering it. So in case any of you have taken it, please let me know about your review in a comment below. With that, as we come to the end of this video, I'll go into the songs that I've been hooked on to. Now, when I come to songs, I feel very vulnerable. And that's why I put this to the end of the video because not everyone deserves to know me so personally. Now, the first person whose songs I'm really hooked on to these days is Lucky Ali. There's no way you don't know Lucky Ali if you are someone from the 90s or early 2000s. This man's songs are so soulful. His voice is so beautiful. I was also reading his stories. He has absolutely left music and he does farming now, which is so strange for a man who was so successful. But basically, he didn't want to commercialize his music, which is such a great decision in my opinion. His songs really touch a different chord. His voice is so soulful. Two of my favorite songs from him are O Sanam and also this song called Abhija. I've also watched the movie of Abhija that is Sur, which is again a beautiful movie. And that was actually the first time I ever listened to Lucky Ali. And I highly recommend the movie for you as well. Now, the next song that I'm really hooked on to is called Cry. Cry is by CAS, one of the bands I am absolutely obsessed with. I'm not going to say the full form of CAS in this video. If you're clever enough, you will figure it out. But CAS songs are on a whole different level. They touch a different part of your body and soul. Usually the songs of CAS are really listened to by not so CAS kind of persons. It's really the songs, the meaning, the essence of the songs that matters so much. I, I would love to have a good cry any day while listening to CAS. Last song that I recommend is by REO Speedwagon and this one is called Take It On The Run. It really has a story. It really has a beautiful music. It's a little bit old. If you guys know me even a little bit, you know that I am crazy about old school things. So of course I love this song. I'll end this video now for anyone who does not want any spoilers on Kapurush or The Coward. But in case you are ready to get some spoilers and you want to know the story of The Coward, keep watching. So in Coward, what happened is Shomitra Chatterjee, uh, who is the protagonist here, had not been able to marry the girl he loved because when she came to him asking him to marry her, 
he said that he doesn't have a job yet he doesn't have education yet and he just can't marry her like this and the problem was that she was in a situation that if he didn't marry her she will be married off to someone else when she comes to him in such a dire situation where she really needs him and he kind of shuts her away he says that the thing he lacks is not a job or education it's something else she doesn't mention what she says that he lacks something else and that's what he lacked courage he lacked bravery that's why the title coward kapurush now in the movie when he meets her for the second time after she's married he keeps asking her if she's happy and she never gives him a direct answer at the end of the movie he proposes to her to come with him to the train station if she wants to go away with him now because he is more capable now let's say now when he is waiting for her at the train station she does come but it's actually to take some sleeping pills that he had borrowed from her after taking the sleeping pills she starts walking away and he does doesn't really call her and that's where the movie ends now the question is what did really happen in my opinion what happened is that the reason she had to get married to someone else was because the man she loved was a coward a kapurush who could not do something for her who could not save her from getting married to someone else so many years later when he is in her life again she comes but she when she is leaving he doesn't really call her back he still does not have the courage to go ahead and do something that is not conventional and that is the kind of takeaway i took away from this movie i absolutely loved it i loved the ending when she's walking away and he just looks at her he doesn't call he could have could have easily called but he did, just doesn't do that which really proves that he's still a coward something that he had to leave her for or lose her for rather in the very beginning and his basic personality has still not changed and yeah with that i will leave all you guys who stayed here to listen to the story and i'll see you with another video very soon i hope that you like december's recommendations and with that heli will be signing off bye bye